Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to my course Industrial Biotechnology. Now Industrial Biotechnology has two components, one is industry and there is biotechnology. Now <coughs> we have, we, we know that uh, there is a subject called chemical engineering. In the chemical engineering also they have a course like chemical process technology which deal with different chemical processes and purpose of industrial biotechnology course is to deal with different uh, biochemical processes. Now as I mentioned in the beginning that it has two component, one is industrial and there is biotechnology. First let us try to find out what do you mean by biotechnology. Again biotechnology has two component, one is bio and another is technology. Technology basically deals with <coughs> that uh, science and engineering. Science tells us why it is happening, how it is happening and bio is related with the biological system. So basically that technology deals with the biological system, we call it biotechnology and industrial biotechnology is kind of application of the whatever that you know process that we develop that is industrial biotechnology. Now if you look at this definition, it is like this, industrial Industrial biotechnology is a set of practices of units that uses the living cells such as bacteria, yeast and algae or component of cells like enzymes to generate products of industrial importance which is followed by the purification process. So what does it mean? Because not only it, it, it comprises of the living system like bacteria, yeast and algae but also it it might be a component of the cells like enzymes, In the enzyme does not have any life. So they generate the, some product which has industrial importance and whenever we produce any kind of product, we should know when, when you do any kind of marketing of the product, this should be always in the purified form. Now industrial, this biotechnology, uh, industrial biotechnology is comprises of uh, different, uh, different uh, steps. As for example that uh, if you look at, first is the medium preparation units. First you see that this is the medium preparation unit which is appears to be very important as per any microbial fermentation processes is concerned. Now media comprises of different components, it comprises of carbon source, it comprises nitrogen source, also minerals and vitamins. And what is the role of carbon? Carbon has a different, uh, different purpose, carbon used for the growth of the organism, for the cell mass production, it is used as a source of energy, also it, it produces the product. As for example that suppose we produce citric acid, the glucose is converted to citric acid. The part of the glucose is goes, most of the glucose goes for the citric acid production. The besides that glucose also used for cell mass production as well as for um, energy generation of the particular organism. Nitrogen mostly com contribute for the cell mass production and if you look at the minerals and vitamins that mostly <coughs> involved as, as a cofactor in the metabolic pathways. So this is the, 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 the media plays very important role and we consider media as the multi-component system. Second is the inoculum that preparation is found using the industrial strain. The term industrial strain is very important. We know there is two type of organisms are there. One is called wild, wild strain and that we call industrial strain. Wild strain means the organism which we isolated from the from the soil because naturally which is available. But when you go for the industrial strain, 
it is produced for the industrial purpose and what industrial purpose the the strain has different characteristics one important characteristic of the cell is the strain is the they should be genetically stable because because the industrial uh, strain that we the same organism we use different batches so productivity of the system should not be hampered if your biochemical characteristics remain same then your productivity of the system may at least contribute uh, mostly it remain constant now uh, not only that this industrial strain can withstand the rapid change of temperature and ph it can produce high concentration of product so there are several characteristics and you should use the cheaper raw materials and you should have multiple raw materials because all different characteristics we have that the industrial strain is now inoculum preparation is very important because uh, we know that uh, every organism has a life cycle in the in the life cycle you have different phase of growth you have black phase you have log phase you have stationary phase you have death phase now organism a different phase of growth has different significance lag phase we consider as the acclimatization phase log phase we consider as the active growth phase and stationary phase is considered as the starvation phase so the organisms are more or less active in the active in the log phase so whenever we we do, we prepare any kind of inoculum for the fermentation process we should use uh, the organism from the mid log phase to late log phase so i can i can explain here like this suppose this is a growth cycle so this is the mid log phase this is the late log phase and this is the stationary phase so in between this we, we should we should we should we should take the culture for the for this uh, for the culture preparation then the fermentation process as you know the the living organism has some typical characteristics they are very sensitive to the environment so environmental parameters should be controlled as for example temperature ph all this uh, th that should be controlled properly and we should give a favorable atmosphere favorable condition to the organism so that we can get the uh, desired product and uh, science of fermentation also we consider as gymology now physical chemical uh, separation processes for the purification of product as i mentioned at the beginning that when you produce any kind of product that uh, that product you cannot market as such because it has lot of impurities so you have to purify the products so lot of physical chemical processes are involved for the separate for getting the purified product and then packaging now it is packaging is a very important technology this packaging should be good so that you know the consumer can be attracted to that effluent treatment process whenever we go for any kind of industrial process whether it is chemical biochemical industry it should be ensured that whatever effluent is generated that should not be affect our environment to a great extent so this should be treated in a proper way now i want to give a typical example of the brewing industry if you look at here that uh, that uh, how in the brewing industry what you do we basically produce the beer and and you know two type of beer largely in the market one is called lager beer and another is ale beer and this is the, what is the basic raw materials for that this is the barley malt barley barley grains that barley grains undergo that uh, uh, some kind of malting process malting process is kind of germination of barley grains where we produce the different kind of uh, uh, that hydrolytic enzymes then we dry it then then we pass through the massing process this is the massing process you can see after massing process the hydrolysis of the starchy starch molecules or protein molecules take place they undergo solubilization then we have the soluble liquid and that pass through the uh, then we pass through the process of what you call uh, the hopping process and uh, where we add the hops this is you can see hops is a kind of flower of a plant and uh, where this contributes typical characteristics of the beer it gives the bitter taste and the beer has a bitter typical bitter taste usually comes from the uh, from the uh, this uh, hops and uh, this hops 
uh, this beta test is due, is due to the presence of resin that we have in the in, in this particular flower and uh, it has other component like essential oils is give the aroma it has uh, tannin which help for the separation of bigger protein molecules then we cool it down because this is done by boiling because then we have to solubilize the material present in the flower then we, we cool it down and passes through this uh, the, we mix it and the cool it and pass it through the fermentation process now before we putting to the fermentation process we should be ensured that sugar concentration should be maintained and then we after the fermentation process we pass it through the maturation why the maturation process is required because in during the fermentation process though we are targeting for the alcohol production besides the alcohol it produces some kind of trace amount of organic acid this organic acid gives a harsh flavor so if you if you keep it for some time this uh, acid and al alcohol uh, make the esters so harshness of the things will go then we do the filtration here to remove the suspended material then we put in the can bottle or in the barrels so and, and sell it in the market so you can see in this process we have given you the some kind of industrial process how many steps are involved before we get the product now let me <coughs> let me tell you the uh, course content that uh, what i am planning to cover in this particular course that uh, first uh, I, I want to highlight that uh, that microbes in the first week uh, i shall i shall I shall, I shall highlight that this is microbes, enzymes of industrial importance, industrial strain, how it is developed, medium characteristics and the reaction kinetics. So, you know that I want to give you some kind of preliminary information how, what are the different microbes is used in the industry, what are the different uh, enzymes which has the industrial importance, then how the industrial strains has been developed how medium characters, what do you mean by medium characteristics and obviously the reaction kinetics that how the reaction takes place, how you, how you study the kinetics of the process. Now, <clears throat> after that in the second week, I want to discuss different type of bioreactors and uh, reactors, how we can define reactors is the vessel in which the reaction take place and bioreactor means the, in the vessel where the reaction take place in presence of some biomolecules, maybe the living cells, maybe the non-living cells. And uh, then we do the reactor design, stoichiometry and numerical problems. This I am going to uh, discuss because without solving the problem, the problem that uh, the, the conception of the process will not, uh, will not be clear. So, this will be discussed. In the third week, I shall concentrate on the enzymatic reaction kinetics and this is very important. As you know in the microbial system we consider as a multi-enzyme system and enzymatic reaction when you consider enzymes are very specific as per substrate is concerned. I can give the typical example of the high fructose corn syrup production where, 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 where uh, starchy raw materials were hydrolyzed to glucose and then glucose in presence of glucose isomerase enzyme it produces uh, the fructose. And then I shall discuss <coughs> this uh, immobilized enzyme because we, the, the suspension enzyme uh, has lot of problem because purification and we cannot use the enzyme again and again and when you use immobilized enzyme we can use the enzyme again and again it has lot of industrial significance. Then, uh, then I shall switch over to the microbial growth cycle and I told you um, some uh, that you know microbial growth cycle is plays a very important role as per as per production because different phase of growth is very important as per as per as per the different biochemical production is concerned because some of the product we consider as a growth associated product some of the product is considered as a non-growth associated product. Growth associated product means where the rate of product formation is proportional to rate of growth of the cells. So, we know that in the, in the, in the log phase we have rate of growth of the organism is maximum. So, we try to operate the system in the log phase in case of growth associated product, but in case of non-growth associated product, the, the rate of product formation is not proportional to rate of growth of the organism, but it is proportional to the concentration of the cells. This is usually occur at the, st at the stationary phase, as stationary phase we consider the starvation phase. So, <clears throat> this uh, I want to discuss and uh, then I shall switch over to the microbial growth kinetics. 
product formation, substrate degradation. This is very important how in the system the microbial growth take place, how you monitor the, the, that the growth kinetics because what are the different parameters involved to find out the characteristics of the organism. Then product formation that plays very important role, substrate degradation how we take place that also very important role. Uh, plays very important role. Then instrumentation of the process also any any biochemical process we do, do, we do, we we shall have to consider different operational parameters as for example as agitator speed uh, that you know dissolve oxygen concentration pH so you know all temperature all these things so we require some kind of instrumentation device. Then flow diagram. We have two type of flow di diagram of the process. We have block flow diagram and process flow diagram. Block flow diagram because we, I have already shown you Baker the brewing industry where you have seen the different steps involved before we produce the get the beer in the <coughs> for marketing purpose. So the, that you know all the steps we consider the unit. So different units are involved in the flow diagram. Now if you if you if you represent one unit as a box then we call it a block flow diagram. Now, if you give the sketch of the particular process like you know you have uh, you have heat exchanger, you have reactor, you have uh, sterilizer. If you give a uh, the sketch of this process then we call it process flow diagram. Now, and then I uh, then air and medium sterilization plays very important role. We know that uh, that in case of microbial fermentation process your condition should be such that your desired organism should grow in a manner so that you know, that uh, other organism other organism should not interfere in the process. So, sterility of the process is very popular is very important role. So, this <coughs> this I shall discuss how this uh, this air and medium sterilization can be carried out in a <coughs> biochemical processes. <coughs> this will be followed by upstream and downstream processing. Upstream process deals with that whatever process is involved before the bio that fermentation process and downstream processing means what are the processes involved after the after fermentation is over for the period the downstream processing is considered in other way the purification process. Now then uh, then I shall switch over to the uh, by different uh, fermentation process. First I shall discuss the ethanol fermentation process. Then I I also discuss different uh, production of different oxy chemicals. One is tax and non-tax alcohol, bring industry, wine and vinegar production that I shall discuss. Then other industry like citric acid, lactic acid production also I shall discuss. Then glutamic acid, penicillin, streptomycin and Baker's is fermentation process also we discuss. So, different uh, different we shall give you the glimpses of the different processes and, and, and single uh, we shall discuss the single cell protein production. As you know single cell protein production is nothing but your cell mass production which the comprises of Baker's is powder is alpha amylase. We also discussed the alpha amylase production and high fructose corn syrup production. Now, besides that there are other products we have like metal leaching. Uh, uh, particularly I want to stress here that uh, <laughs> the metal leaching process very plays very important role where the ore contains very less concentration of a particular metal. So, there the chemical process is no good there we should go for the biochemical biological process. So, metal leaching process is very much applicable to the there is the in the copper mining and other processes largely applied. Then cheese making industry that uh, cheese is a process through which we can preserve the milk protein and fat for longer period of time that has lot of importance because we cannot preserve the uh, milk as such for longer period of time. The, the cheese is a kind of method through which you can preserve the milk protein, protein and fat for longer period of time. Then biodiesel and biobutanol production nowadays uh, we know that uh, we are using the fossil fuel to, to meet our energy demand, but the fossil fuel has a limited reserve it will be exhausted very soon. So, lot of <coughs> all the countries they are seriously considering different renewable energy source and we find that <coughs> that uh, biodiesel, biobutanol, bioethanol plays, plays very important role. So, <coughs> then I want to <coughs> discuss typical application of the biochemical process like biopesticides lot of application we have in the 
in the in the agricultural sector to increase our uh, play, uh, the agricultural productivity then we have biopolymer we have lot of application i particularly i want to talk about this polylactic acid which is used lot of lot which has lot of use in the medical <coughs> medical purpose then hepatitis b uh, that is uh, largely used uh, in the healthcare and uh, insulin we know that we have lot of diabetes patient they required insulin for <coughs> and uh, biofertilizer another important issue where we can we can we can increase the fertility of the soil to a great extent now as i mentioned at the beginning that <coughs> that every every chemical and biochemical process should have some kind of effluent treatment process and biological process plays very important role more than 70% process uh, effluent treatment process are biologically controlled and uh, this is broadly divided into two types one is they call aerobic treatment process and another is the anaerobic waste treatment process and uh, nowadays initially we considered that uh, that waste treatment process is uh, is not we, we don't get any kind of return from that money and that uh, money return from that particular process now due to the uh, development of anaerobic digestion process now we can recover some money from this process because we produce the methane and carbon dioxide methane can be used as a fuel and uh, and the other other gaseous fuel production also we are going to discuss that bio hydrogen production process and finally i want to summarize the whole courses now let me tell you that uh, different bio products how it is produced that uh, first let me uh, this is the production of commercially useful product made from the use of the biological or microbes or, en or enzymes or renewable material like biomass derived from the agricultural residue and food processing so uh, this we consider as the bio products so either it produced from with the help of microbes or enzymes or from the renewable materials like biomass derived from the agriculture residue and food processing so organism we have uh, different organisms are involved with the bacteria how it looks you can have a look on this and then algae you can you can you see that how it looks under the microscope fungi how it looks under the microscope and yeast which is largely used in the alcohol and bakers in the it looks like this and this is the enzymes that enzymes uh, this is the substrate this is the active site this uh, is the substrate seed that the active site then it gives the product i told you enzymes are very specific uh, as per as per as per substrate is concerned now now the different examples of the bio products uh, we have this first is the antibiotics with a lot of antibiotics uh, due to the development of antibiotics uh, the diseases lot of diseases can be uh, can be uh, cured because uh, we i can give the example of penicillin uh, and you know during second world war that a lot of uh, soldiers they have the infection problem because due to the injury then uh, due to the development of penicillin that has been uh, rectified and we, uh, subsequently we developed lot of other antibiotics Uh, like you know streptomycin uh, that canamycin different type of antibiotics has come in the market to take care of different type of diseases now next is the enzymes which has uh, different industrial significance as for example amylase protease gyrolase and renin that lot of has the industrial use and then we have vaccine like uh, hepatitis b and uh, bioproducts that, that is used the insulin the, the acts as the as the hormones then we have single cell protein i told you examples is the baker dies and oxy chemicals ethanol acetic acid butanol and citric acid now if you look at uh, why we go for bioproducts the, the reason is that reason is that first first thing is that it is sustainable because the, this process will be remaining with us for a longer period of time less carbon and water footprint create rural employment and opportunity less emission to the uh, the it causes the less less pollution to the environment and biodegradability and recyclability and high productivity and use of raw materials from the local sources so these are the different uh, significance that we have now oh, oh, there is some differences between the chemical process and the bio processes chemical process if you look at here 
chemical process use of synthetic chemicals. Now here I want to stress one thing that in the chemical process that if your product is critical it, it, it is complicated your raw materials usually complicated. But in, in case of bio, bio, in the biochemical processes or biological processes from one compound particularly glucose or sucrose can produce a number of compounds. I can give the example glucose can be used or sucrose can be used for the production of citric acid, for the production of ethanol, for the production of lactic acid or different type of products, but this is not possible in case of chemical, pro chemical uh, processes. Now, another thing is that biochemical process usually operated at ambient temperature and atmospheric pressure and, uh, and uh, whereas the chemical process usually occur at high temperature and high pressure. So, these are the uh, another, another, uh, another advantage of the chem one advantage of the chemical processes can occur in the unsterile condition, but as per as per biochemical process is concerned this should occur uh, take place at the under sterile conditions. So, these are the different uh, things that we have involved with this process. As per bioproducts is concerned, it can be divided into three different category. One is called low value and high volume product, medium value and medium volume product and high value low, low, uh, low volume products. Now, I can, I can give, that, uh, give the example of that, that, uh, that uh, high value, uh, high low volume, high value products is the kind of example we have citric acid. We have, we have the example of citric acid production. This is the citric acid is considered as a tricarboxylic acid. Uh, the, usually the price of the product is 6 pound per kg of products that we have. Now, now in case of in case of medium volume and medium value products is that this is uh, this is this uh, kind of antibiotics particularly i want to talk about the penicillin that is uh, that is the, that is considered as the medium value uh, and medium volume products and the factors plays important role in the fermentation uh, is the duration of fermentation this is uh, and the unity the utility and the nutri nutrition cost this, that plays very important role for that and high value low volume products we have the example of the insulin that human insulin that is largely used and this is <coughs> this is considered the major emphasis on improving the following trait of strain is the stability level of expression and overall cost of the products so this is the the couple of important things that we have now, if you look at the types of bioproducts, categorically it can be divided into three types. One we call bioenergy, and this is biochemicals and is the biomaterials. Now, bioenergy we have solid fuels, we have liquid fuels, we have gaseous fuels, and then biochemicals we have biopharmaceuticals like vaccine, industrial chemicals like citric acid and enzymes, then biocosmetics we have body strain and biomaterials we have bioplastic, biocomposite and bioforms and bio rubber. So these are the several things that we have. And uh, India, India here I want to stress that India is among the top 12 uh, biotech destination in the world and ranks again in the Asia after the China. So, we have lot of potentiality uh, as per bioproducts is concerned. This is the bio market that we have uh, that gives you some kind of impression how, how this plays important role in, the, in our country. And these are the different uh, different uh, uh, market value of the different products. This has been uh, given here. And uh, this, uh, this uh, gives a typical example that how the uh, bioproduct formation take place. I have taken the example of ethanol fermentation process where glucose, how it is uh, formed the ethanol. This is uh, through the glycolytic pathway, it produces pyruvic acid and pyruvic acid, it produces the acetaldehyde, acetaldehyde so when we reduce, it produces the ethanol. So, this is how uh, this through the anaerobic fermentation process, we can produce some kind of fermentation products. Now, as per, as per range of bio fermentation processes is concerned, uh, there are four different ranges. One is the microbial cells or biomass as a product, 
where microbial enzymes is a product, where microbial metabolites as a product as for example, ethanol, citric acid, vitamin, acetone, butanol, glutamic acid and lysine etc. And uh, modification of the compounds as it in the fermentation process, what you call transformation process as for example, production of steroid antibiotics and po uh, post uh, gladins. So, this is the chronological development of the fermentation industry because if you look at initially that uh, bioproducts uh, formation started with alcohol and vinegar. This is uh, pre-1900 uh, and 1900 to 1940 we have Baker's use glycerol, citric acid, lactic acid, acetone, butanol, fed wedge using the pure culture. In 1940 up to, up to date we have penicillin, streptomycin, other antibiotics, zebralin, amino acid, nucle nucleotides, enzyme transformation that uh, we have we, we get and 1960 onwards we have single cell protein continuous medium recycling genetic engineering of the production production strain and 1979 to, to date is the foreign compounds not normally produced by the microbial cells as for example, insulin interferon genetic engineering to introduce the foreign gene into the microbial host. So, these are the different uh, chronological development is there. The present development of the industrial products are, um, are like this, the microbial cell of probiotics. This is largely used nowadays for our health care. Then amylase, amylase and glucose isomerase I told you this is for the uh, for, for that fructose syrup production which is largely used in the confectionery industry in the western country. Col coloring agent uh, for my microorganism for textile color, then biodiesel for energy, bioinsecticides, microbial bioplastics, uh, isoflavone and the lipase for the detergents. This is removal of the color uh, from the cloth. This is the different list of industrial important products. I do not like to go in details where you can find it out. And uh, this is the list of industrial important enzymes like I can highlight here protease, lipase, cellulase, isomerase, gelanase that I told you before also. So, this, has, this is plays very important role. And finally, I want to tell you that uh, how, uh, how this uh, fermentation process operates. I told you uh, that uh, this uh, basically this is the this is the heart of the uh, biochemical industry where the the product formation take place. Now, before the product formation, you have to prepare the media. You have to do some kind of arm steam processing as for example, air sterilization and medium sterilization. And also, we ha you have to do the inoculum preparation. Then after the fermentation is over that you go for the product purification and, and after product purification you get the product and after the product that you know product formation you should have that uh, effluent treatment process so that your environment is safeguarded and this purification is take place through different downstream processing. So, all these things we will be covering in this course. Thank you very much.